Up until today, Deadpool has been one of the most popular anti-heroes the Marvel Universe has to offer. The Scarred Mercenary's last appearance was four years ago, and it has also been some time since the infamous takeover of Fox by the Disney Company. The big topic among fans, however, is not so much the still unknown release date, but rather the much desired R rating. Many fans are wary of whether the family-friendly Marvel Universe will make an exception for this film. In a conversation with Den of Geek, screenwriters Red Reese and Paul Roenick now spoke out about the possible H rating. Accordingly, we should not worry about it as the two have received great support for their vision. Nevertheless, between the lines of the conversation resonates that Disney has not approved everything that the two authors presented. Thus, one or the other crew joke will probably be left out. Quite a pity considering the great success the two authors had with the two previous movies without anyone interfering with them. So, an R rating will likely be given as promised by Marvel boss Kevin Feige in the past. However, with small sacrifices on behalf of Disney and the MCU. Whether the project fails or can replicate the success of its predecessors remains to be seen. A release date has not been revealed yet. With box office takings of over 1 billion US dollars, Joker is not only the most profitable R rated movie, but also among the top three most successful DC movies ever. No surprise then that immediately thereafter, people started demanding a sequel to the movie, which was originally intended to be a standalone hit. Now, director Todd Phillips unexpectedly shared a new picture on Instagram, which shows the script for the sequel written by him and his co writer Scott Silver. All also visible is the first title, and it reveals more than you might first expect. Folia de is a French term meaning madness of two. This describes a mental disorder in which a delusional individual induces his symptoms on a close, initially healthy person. As soon as the two people part ways, one person's mental disorder often disappears. Many see this as an indication that Harley Quinn will play a decisive role in the upcoming Joker sequel. However, an appearance by Margot Robbie in her starring role is considered unlikely, since Joker is set in a different universe than the Suicide Squad films or Harley's solo film Birds of Prey. As Deadline reports, the deal with lead actor Joaquin Phoenix is as good as sealed, but after his convincing performance in the first part, anything else would have been a disaster anyways. There's no release date yet, but we will certainly have to wait at least two more years until the movie is released. A couple of days ago, Disney published the first details about the upcoming I Am Groot animated series. As the name suggests, this is a spin-off of the Guardians of the Galaxy series, but with Baby Groot at the center. The former is very different from comparable Disney Plus series. Instead of a long, coherent story, we will get to see a series of so-called original shorts, in other words, very short stories. Of course, there will also be the mandatory clash with other MCU characters, however, it is not known yet which ones these could be. We do know at least that Vin Diesel will be dubbing Groot, just as he did in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. So far, a first poster has been revealed, showing the little tree in a laid-back atmosphere on a beach towel. At the same time, the planned release date of August 10th, 2022 is shown as well. We are certainly excited to see how the rather unusual series format will perform. Just recently, the Suicide Squad actress Daniela Melchior joined the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. Shortly afterwards, Deadline reported that another actress had joined the cast. The talk is of Borat actress Maria Bakalova, as James Gunn also officially confirmed on Twitter last Monday. It is suspected that Bakalova will play an important part in the upcoming MCU blockbuster. Gunn himself, too, spoke of a particular person who would be given a special role long before the announcement. Besides Besides the Borat subsequent movie film, the 26-year-old was last featured in the horror comedy Bodies, Bodies, Bodies and The Bubble. In addition to Bacalava, we can of course look forward to a reunion with Bradley Cooper, Chris Pratt, Dave Bautista, Karen Gillian, Pom Clemente, Vin Diesel and Zoe Zaldana. Likewise, joining the cast are Sylvester Stallone as Taka Ogort, as well as Will Poulter in his new role as the immortal Adam Warlock. The Guardian's next appearance will be the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder, starting this July 8th, 2022. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 will then hit theaters on May 5th, 2023. 
This September, the most expensive series of all time, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, will be released on Amazon. In addition to four new covers from Empire Magazine, there are also two more new images. The covers show, for instance, a battle-ready Galadriel, the two Khazad Doom rulers of Durin the Fourth and Disa, and also the three Harfoots, Poppy, Nori, and Sadok. On a fourth cover, reserved exclusively for subscribers, we see an artistic drawing of a snow troll. Two more pictures, also published by Empire Magazine, show Galadriel again played by Morfit Clark. Here she carries a torch and appears noticeably younger than in the movie trilogy set thousands of years later. The second image shows the Elven Smith Celebrimbor, played by Charles Edwards, who already appeared in the two video games Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor. Indeed, he is the blacksmith of the Notorious Rings and thus takes on a crucial role in this story of the Lord of the Rings. Further, there was new information provided by the showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. In talk with Empire, they revealed that the entire 50-hour series has already been thought out and that there are many storylines that will only make sense at the end of the fifth season. Fans, meanwhile, are still on the fence and there has been some backlash against the first trailer. We will find out more details starting with the official series premiere on September 2nd, 2022 on Amazon Prime. A Netflix Geek Week kicked off, with Netflix announcing all sorts of new movies and series. Some trailers were also included, and in the following we would like to present the highlights that the streaming giant revealed. One of the undisputed hits was the cyberpunk Edge Runner series, which is based on the video game released in 2020. Along with the first teaser and a clip of the animated series, there was also a first anime-style poster to look at. The project is a collaboration between CD Projekt Red and Studio Trigger and will be available on Netflix starting in September 2022. Another image was published for the Skull Island animated series, which is a collaboration between Legendary and Powerhouse. Although not much information was given, there was an impressive pic of Kong's gigantic handprint. The new One Piece series and live-action format will also be of interest to many. Here, too, there was a first video clip that presents the detailed sets of the upcoming series. You can see, for example, the large ship Barati, which has a bar hidden in the mouth of the fish head. However, fans are still doubtful whether and how the live-action adaption will be able to capture the spirit of the One Piece series. A release date has sadly not been announced as of yet. The new Resident Evil series was definitely able to convince some fans after the reboot Welcome to Raccoon City was rather moderately successful. In the new series, we get to learn about two time frames, once before and once after the outbreak of the infamous T-Virus. The focus is on Jake Wesker, played by by Ala Balinska, who is the daughter of the villain Albert Wesker. In terms of content, the series will follow its very own path and will only be loosely based on the original game. Regardless, we are looking forward to it. The series will be released on Netflix on July 14th, 2022. To include our selection, we would like to introduce you to a new movie with a great cast. The Grey Man, which has now been known for quite a while, is directed by the Russo brothers. In the leading roles, we can see superstars like Chris Evans, Ryan Gosling and Ana de Armas. The plot revolves around CIA agent Court Gentry, who goes from being the hunter to being the hunted and can only seem to rely on the charming agent Danny Miranda. The film is scheduled for release this summer on July 22nd, 2022. Apart from all the Netflix releases, we have a lot of new trailers for you on our channel this week. Among them is the final trailer for Minions 2, Black Adam and Prey. In addition, MCU fans should not miss our new original on Black Panther, Wakanda Forever.